Here's this image again. Can't entirely get away from paperwork when you're studying roof framing. This is a 912 pitch common rafter. 12 inches of run, nine inches of rise, and the hypotenuse is a whole number of 15. Incidentally, the home, only hypotenuse between 112 and 1212, that's a whole number. 1212 is 16.97. We call a 512 13, but it's 12.98. We're to take a compass and swing from the hypotenuse down to the run of the common rafter. The difference between 15 and 12 is three inches. Three happens to be a quarter of 12. And if 12 were one, then if the line length ratio would be one and a quarter or 1.25. So that means that if you had a 12 inch run, you multiplied it by 1.25, you would get 15 inches. 24 inch run times 1.25, you would get 30 inches. That's called the line length ratio. <laughs> this is the line length or the length of the line of the common rafter. So the line length ratio is the hypotenuse to the run. Here is the steel square measuring across the steel square from nine to 12 is 15 inches. All right, it's as simple as that. Over here we have a model from our roof class that is a 912 pitch, my favorite pitch. We started out our layout from the end king common at the plate line, 16 on center and go this way and then 16 on center and go the other way. But since over here, you'll see it's not lined up perfectly. That means where it terminates out on this corner out here, this space is different than the farther side. Now, if you look straight down on it, we know it's a perfect square in plan view and it's being bisected by the hip. We're gonna focus our attention on from where the hip runs into the plate line here to where the common runs into the plate line and where they run together here, this triangle here. If you pulled out of this corner here, it'd be 14 inches. So this would be the, the run of the common rafter because it's the same on an equal pitch roof in both directions. The run of the common rafter and the plate line run are the same. And we said it's 14 inches, so we'd multiply 14 by 1.25, and that would be 14 inches plus a quarter of uh, 14, which is three and a half. That would make this jack rafter to the short point here, 17 and a half inches. And then the rest of the jacks from there are 16 inches on center. So we would take, uh, so center to center and side to side are the same thing as we all know. So if it's 16 on center and it's one and a quarter times 16, a quarter of 16 is four inches. So we add four inches to 16 and we get 20 inches. So each of these consecutive jack rafters are 20 inches longer than the previous. So this one we said is 17 and a half plus 20 inches is 37 and a half plus 20 inches. That one there would be 57 and a half inches along the top of the rafter from the top of the heel stand to the short point where it runs in to the side of the hip.